While the shea butter and coconut oil are melting, I weigh out and prepare the Dead Sea mud, the kaolin clay, the activated charcoal and benzoin resin powder, and a lemongrass essential oil. Once all of the solid oils are completely melted, I add in the castor oil, and the extra virgin olive oil, which I have quite a bit of it here. I'm just going to show you a little bit. Now this oil solution is going to cool, which is one of the reasons why I ask I add this liquid oil second to help the solid oils cool down. My next step is to take a little bit of those oils and to mix them with the additives. I do this before adding it to the soap so everything is really nicely blended and you don't end up with any little chunks. So here we have the blended kale and clay mixture, the Dead Sea mud mixture, and the activated carbon and benzoin resin powder mixture, all ready to go. When dealing with lye, you always want to wear eye protection. Once my oils and lye solution are cooled, I'm going to blend them. My lye solution is made with aloe vera. <laughs> blend of the essential oil pour the soap into the molds first I'll do the charcoal the layer of dead sea mud for the clay layer now for some swirling you won't see this until the soap is cut but it works all the colors through it looks really nice when it's done the last step is to add the top layer which is the charcoal layer and then swirl it like you would a cake now I'll let it sit for a couple days to cure, and then I'll cut it. After the soap is cured for about six weeks after cutting, it looks something like this. And that's how I make detox charcoal soap.